gonna get ready and let Malcolm uh get ready to sound the uh Shafar, well, Tarua. We definitely on a crisis where we need the alarm sound, ain't that right? Malcolm say God they left his shoes at Coca Cabana again. <laughs> Made one. What time did you leave Coca Cabana? Seven thirty. We saw a different crowd. I know the preacher know what he's talking about. God, listen, it don't take that long. Come on, folks. Change the game. That's all you do in there, right? They ain't gonna let you go left. Change the game. Isn't that right? Yeah. You can't let them stop. So then we, how, what you thinking? They're gonna be out of time. We're gonna find a different time slot. Leave and come back. Just casual sit. That's, that's how you do it. Yeah. yeah. You ain't gotta, what they, what's the, what's the dance they do? Salsa. Yeah, yeah. They don't do that. I do that with some chips. Girl, yeah, so you kill the salsa, get a chip. I already done it. Now you teach you how to zoom them. Ain't that right? You write this stuff down, you don't use it. Oh, I'm sure a lot of single brothers don't want you there because they already got women, right? Like I said, if it ain't working, then let's change your game. That's how it is, change your game. Let me tell you something. I don't want to be on the single boy alone. My, I ain't, I I ain't going to be on that alone. I come to a couple of them just show up. <laughs> yeah. Let preacher talk. Yeah, we didn't get through. Phone, every time I phone, God be doing like that preacher. I ain't do that. Don't I check it in my mama. I ain't gonna do that. What? Huh? He ain't go right here. Ain't even check for a second. Yeah, your mom said, I hope he ain't in that line again. You know, line of sin. Christian, all holy, all Hebrew girls are like. Your mama sent a text at Titan. I'm telling you, I'll be, I'm missing. I've been the only one. Listen, I've been more of an advocate for the single IQ than they've been for themselves. Yeah. Oh, they, they're not about to. I said, hey, I said, got a nice young man. I go tell them, got some nice young men. Clean, ain't got nothing. Straight. Mm -hmm. them, no switch hidden. So when they come, they look at them. <laughs> they be looking like, they made me like a fool. Like, baby, man, they look at me like, the woman looking at me like, what you doing on me? You went snapping me all up. These jokes ain't sound like, I apologize. <laughs> I'm not learning how to zoom or to make up for it or something. <laughs> like, what y'all doing? Just one time, man, listen, listen. Before I'm telling y'all, good, clean, solid, unashamed men are hard to find. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Not you, keep going. You want to go? Dave was trying to have me back on a Popeye sandwich. He said, hey, he says, who can't get on them Popeye sandwiches? I said, well, can I go to Popeye? I said, listen, man, you do what you want to do. I said, I told him, remember, I don't want to go in no sin. I said, just leave it alone. I said, ain't worth it. I'll just give him. I don't have time to go nowhere where I know I'm going to get a chance to get shot. I'm about to kill somebody. I just don't want to go. I don't want to be involved. Because I kill you. It's like, I could have did something different. I don't want to go nowhere where we're going to play bumper car. You ran my car and something. Because either way it goes, you're going to get shot. Come be so pissed I can't. The fact that I see you just take a whole ram for a chicken sandwich. <laughs> I can't let you leave that parking lot. They have a video beat the devil at Popeye's. <laughs> Tony want the chicken sandwich. I'm gonna get the fries and give them to a kid. And that's gonna be the news story. The man that beat the guy to death with the woman to death with the pistol didn't want no chicken sandwich. He was getting some fries for the kids. So a lot of stuff to me just don't make sense. When you know it's gonna be, it's just like go on the void there because you know how far you'll go. It's like I don't want. Then it's gonna look like the chicken sandwich got it. Right. It ain't about the chicken. It's the principal you don't wreck my car. You know what I'm saying? If the problem you don't ran up or grab me by the chicken sandwich, then it ain't gonna look like I'm telling you, it's not the chicken sandwich. Right. It's the fact you grab that. See, let me show you. Put the chicken sandwich down. Now rub and grab me. Same thing gonna happen. <laughs> so it ain't the chicken sandwich, it's the fact you ran and grabbed me. <laughs> Put the chicken sandwich over your head. Put mine over, I don't wanna be grabbed. Right. Chicken sandwich over the over the person who's gonna get the get what's coming to him. For me, just put over this the person, he just don't run like that. Y'all all right? Yes, I ain't gonna want about be grabbed. I'm too old to get grabbed, get slapped all up and put up on this home. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. They tell us what they did. If you come try to do all you can to avoid, try to run. That don't make sense. The other person need to be running. Yeah. Ain't that right? I need a badge then. Like, I don't know. See the police run. Why the police don't run like that lady with them seals? Why he ain't run? What what you can do? I got some seals coming from right here coming. You got a gun. You got a gun, a taser, pepper spray. What you can do on this for? Somebody said, shoot. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> I said, no. You probably, I'm saying, but you got other alternatives. Like pepper spray training, 
First of all, I see a dingy white girl on crystal milk. She ain't coming no way anyway. You watch a hand swing, you can break her down. You know, a lot of stuff you watch people most. Am I lying? You watch people most and realize, I can break it out of your hand. You got to see, you, you're not going to get that done anyway. Because I know you're stupid. You ain't hardly got no train. You watch, she walk, she ain't got no behind either. So all that going to be, this sheet rock, just a piece of shot, piece of sheet rock you just do, I didn't catch it. Because it's falling flat. You know what I'm saying? But before you shoot them, you got pepper spray. You got a baton. Listen, I'd have took a baton out. I'd have took that, I'd have beat her to death. Listen, I'd have took the, listen. Then I just took the batteries out. I would have put some battery that don't even fit in that jet beat with them. I mean, you just show you should have never came. So it'd be like, this ain't a police shooting nobody. This is a police showing you. This is another alternative I had that I'm just going to use for GP. This flashlight ain't been getting no workout. Now I'm going to show you how to work this thing correctly. If they're going to let me get away with a shoe, surely I should get away with that flashlight beat. Then while you lay down the country, get that pepper spray that bring you back. <laughs> then, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then you done they hit you with a joke. You don't get up fast as I want you to get. Then that's why I go ahead and hit you with that taser. So now I've got to probably show I use all the necessary equipment and training to choke hold everything. Stop moving. Stop moving. Get down. Get out. Then you put it now. I use all that without shooting. So this is the video that I show now. All the art turn you have without shooting somebody. Having a white boy looking and saying, that bad, you should just shot her. So I'm thinking the same thing, but I know I'm black. Y'all ain't gonna let me do what y'all do. So I decided you all the training they gave. I hit her with everything. Beat her with the pony hat. Just everything. What all? What all pony got you hit her with? The walkie talkie radio. Just take that little boom. Just been boom. Just take all that. You because know, they got that little slang card. Just hit her with everything they got. I took my shoe off and beat her with it. Everything the pony. I just went all through the trunk and get stuff we got. This is the computer you said that you out there get that swim. Y'all didn't. I exhausted all me before I shop. Then once you get the handcuffs, you want to walk off. So I tried everything. This only thing worked. Y'all all right? Over exaggerated, but then you know what? Justified. But you know what? You would rather see her get pepper sprayed, beat with a flat light, and she could have just went sat in prison for like. 10 years for, for assault on the officer for being stupid on top of it. Give her extra time being stupid. In fact, you approach somebody with a gun with scissors. She should have got 100 years. Versus just shooting her and letting her get away with that. Now she probably can get, come and get a lawsuit. Y'all laugh, she white. That one way make more money than all of us. And she'll get a book and a TV deal. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Is she alive? She there? She's still going to win. <laughs> She go to heaven, her and Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan gonna fight for her. Isn't that right? Ronald Reagan in heaven. He over heaven, so he gonna fight for her. She, he's still in trouble. Let me tell you something. The truth don't the matter. He's a, uh, what they'll call a Negro, black, Sahara, Nubian, African American. Now he's got to worry about these white boys that he work with now who see this a whole different way. Who can take up, all they gotta do is set him up on the call. Get somebody they already got a little hand, a little handle they got. They need a favor. It's a simple routine. Run around the back. I got the front. And we run around the back. Suspect got away. And you know, we'll look at it. Man, that's amazing how they have. That amazing. They call white people Jesse. Y'all got to remember something. White women say the miracle. Hello? <laughs> Let me ask something. Do you know what you have to do to start economy? Who knows what you have to do to start economy? Propaganda, what else? Destabilize the government. All these are good. What else you got to do? Block them out. Block commodities. Because typically your money coming. He's right. Well, give me something else you do. Stop a. <laughs> Did you think we were having a biblical contest? Are you trying to fight me spiritually or something? Cause I'm ready to fight you natural. You know what I'm saying? I seen two one time they were talking about two preachers. They were arguing. One man was talking about he was talking about they were arguing about the baptism in Jesus' name or Father. The man told him, said, man, it's like a twenty dollar bill with a ten. He just wrapped that thing up. That man said, man, I'm ready to fight. Cause he was pissed. He wanted to argue. And the man said, you can wrap it up like a twenty on a ten. They was I'm ready to fight you naturally. <laughs> he was pissed. He like you don't mess my point up. You know. So I'm like, I, I ain't know what was going on, but I can feel it. You know, like, you know, sometimes you can feel people. I can feel their pain, but no. Well, he was saying, buying the strong man. Give me something else you can do to block economy. Well, y'all did pretty good. What's that? Block commodity, war, uh, destabilize the government. 
How about he raped me? That's how you messed up Atlanta. Well, they messed up Atlanta saying you were going to rape them. You didn't even get that. Atlanta destroyed you in 1904, 1906, got destroyed when blacks went to Atlanta. They said you were going to rape them. Wall Street in, Oklahoma, in Tulsa, Oklahoma went down because you said you raped them. People who even, the white woman saved America because y'all niggas were already in government. This stuff now, this stuff, niggas run up. Oh, we got our first black male. This is old stuff. It's embarrassing because, again, you hadn't deal with what we talk about antebellum, stuff that happened pre, pre-Civil War. See, we don't deal with antebellum. We're dealing with stuff after the Civil War from back down past. So you don't really see what you've done. We even did things after the Civil War that whites will never show you. They never taught us in Atlanta about how well blacks did. And they taught us, like, when we got our first black men in the 70s for, um, Mother, did they ever tell you we were doing well in, in the 1800s in Atlanta? Blacks. They never told us this in the 1800s. They never taught. Did they teach you that in school? In the 1800s? Where you went to school? Huh? I'm from, from Atlanta. They didn't tell us about You know what they told him about? He was in Alabama. They thought he was going to never come here. <laughs> See, we were him, man. They didn't tell us that. We just started slaying a rock right there in school. You from Alabama, they didn't tell you much. He from another side. You learned about what? See, see what I'm saying? And then the thing with Chris, Chris kind of did things a little different than some of us did. When I say that, because a lot of us want the opportunity to go to white universities. Chris went to white university and decided to transfer out and go to what we call a black university. Most of us wanted, which I would have done the same thing. I don't went to a white university because they look to be more astute if you're trying to do business. Chris left a white university to go to a black university, want to associate with his own people, and want to go and be kind of with his own kind of note. Correct? So that's a difference. Some of us went to black university and go, hey, that's who took me. And I'm just, am I right? I mean, how we would talk, college is college. Uh, I've had opportunity. Do you have a chance to go to a white, a white university? And you chose Morehouse. He said, what, that white university? But I had Dr. King, and Spike Lee, that was it. Dr. King said, I had a dream, and, Martin, and uh, Spike Lee wrote about it. That was it. That's all they never had come out Morehouse, ain't it? Then Spike Lee went to Morehouse, didn't he? Yeah, most of y'all didn't know Spike Lee went there. Mm-hmm. That's how the punch, how people got drunk from the punch. Spike, yeah, Spike Lee. Samuel Jack. Snakes on the plate. That makes sense. That thing that stays on the plate, he got that from Morehouse. They made that up now. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's like, I ain't, many, I ain't much up there. Nobody think about him, though, really, for now. I mean, I didn't know that he's not renowned. He's a renowned actor, but I didn't know Spike Lee and then John who? John David Washington. John David Washington. I know his son went to Morehouse. Now his son went to Morehouse Brown or something. That's something with the Morehouse too. I remember he went to see his son play something with the Morehouse. I wouldn't let my son went to Morehouse. I haven't told them sisters up there in that round. Man, man, you got more sisters now you got in the city of Atlanta. Morehouse County, they messed it up. They messed up everything good. They did, man. Why don't sisters look at all the Dr. King behind? I have a dream. They said, mm, shake it. <laughs> Since why Dr. King, why he was up there trying to have a dream? You all you have a dream, them sisters pull the cover back on your check. Hello? Y'all don't like that, huh? <laughs> Hurt your feeling. That <laughs> is true, boy. It's rough out here. Man, all these sisters came here and invaded that line. Out. Y'all know them. These ain't our sisters. Came from our, how many we, Y'all had all the, you grew up down one of Robert Mason. You seen all these sisters? Man, they like, man, you can't go nothing. Man, y'all done came and painted our street, our bread. Niggas in here can't paint. I know it. I look at that stuff. They ain't our stuff. I went through Kirkwood the other day. They done graffiti on a crack of graffiti everywhere. That pretty stuff, nigga, we spray colored on mat. That ain't our stuff. I said, them senses. Oh. All in the street, them chained away. Ain't a straight street in Kirkwood. So when you go like that, you gotta go like that here and come back. I said, them senses. I went, man, go up in Kirkwood, we like this here. We ain't have no curve. You thought they built that thing off a white woman behind. <laughs> so we get all these things. You, you drive, you gotta turn it away. Go around anyway. I said, them sisters, I messed up traffic. <laughs> we ain't all that stuff. We ain't have all that stuff, man. We was zit zit like this here. We ain't all that. Spaghetti Johnson. Ain't nobody straight did that. <laughs> no straight men go like this right here. No. 
Y'all know gun without a sense it makes me get a junction. <laughs> Isn't that right? Y'all know right? <laughs> In them curvy, wine and roll, them ain't straight man stuff. <laughs> y'all know right? Yes, Somebody feeling hurt, ain't it? <laughs> a lot of y'all knew that y'all can't hear. Y'all know y'all had them sisters following y'all. Y'all should tell y'all going to hear in Atlanta. Y'all should have had a different sign. Look at you looking on that. California, all them sisters. California, New York, New Jersey got some of them. They call them Ted White, really. Because a lot of them states, it, 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 it ain't nothing. I did not say about them states are gay. It's the fact that they're so liberal. The, this, the, the only thing how a lot of those states would happen, everybody ran to get up there and they made these people too open minded. That's the only way we lost everybody down here. You brought these different ways. We weren't like that. You, you couldn't have no open mind come say about being gay. Who in the man was, hey, you know this thing about we can be sister. Man, you finna get stuck. But now, folks say, you know what? That's interesting. We need to discuss that. California, New York. New Jersey, in them old states are they now because everybody got one of these white people. White people made you too open minded. Philly, Philly was known for Buddy Love because Buddy Paul stayed together. We ain't no joke with polling each other. You know what they used to say, hey man, you want to take a poll? It's already done. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's bad. People used to go there time they're going to take a poll. You know, like a survey. We didn't know they were like that. Everybody done taking a poll. So now we gotta come along now. We gotta correct all these behaviors. Hello, we trying it is, it's bad. I said, man, I went it pays on go. I went through cars. I said, I'm a, I grew up out, I, I grew up in Curry West. Like I never seen nothing like even the rest of tell they just gay the way they pay. They sit it in a gay fashion. It be an old man, you know, they just it just got a gay way you come from. You like, I'm not going to I gotta piss, I'm gonna piss on myself. People just tell you one you like these, these people, you're not from here. You can tell they look how they want to take your order and stuff. How people you say, no, I don't have all that kind of stuff right now. It's just too much. It, it, it. But you've been here what? 50 years? At least. How much stuff have you seen change? It wasn't like that. You've been work downtown. You remember sisters all down there in Gay Street, huh? <laughs> Mr. Clay, he came here in the 80s. Man, them sisters were everywhere. <laughs> like, not here. When? They didn't have it. I'm telling y'all. Then you, you remember all, then you even young. You remember all these sisters. And you were born. You was an eighty baby. Nobody. Now this is all these folks. These folks not from him. Paul didn't. No, don't no, no, pull them. Just ask him. <laughs> Said, listen. Just, just, pull up, pull up. You ain't even from here. You know, don't let nobody catch you. Cause one day I lock y'all talking. You done. Now you officially gay. You better. Why somebody see you? I mean, they gonna put you out there. You don't go to your car, you got stickers on your bumper, all kind of stuff. And a honk, honk for sis, all kind of. Man, I be mean, you see tags, you say, who, who, you, we didn't make tags like that. Stickers, you couldn't buy them here in the South. Florida, y'all know about that, don't it? Y'all didn't have them sis either, did it? And them water. It's down, we don't water. Them fella got down here and they eased it in. They from New Jersey, right? Lib you agree, liberal state, real liberal, free thinking. They, you, now they had homosexual alley. You've known that for a long time growing up. They had them when you were young up there too. They didn't have sis up there. Ninety-eight. Where you think they came from? New York. New York. They said New York. <laughs> New York and New Jersey be battling each other, right? Cause they got more weirdos on in New York. Cause yeah, that melting pot. And they, you know, people do. Everybody, New York. Go to New York. Go to California. I make it. California definitely ain't what you want. Listen. I went to play, they had 24,000 people. I went one pretty woman the whole play. I don't even looking for nobody. I ain't never seen no, you, I'll take you somewhere in Atlanta with 24,000 people. I guarantee you're gonna see more than one, one good looking. They ain't gonna jack them. You know, where all these ugly folk come? I said, these y'all ugly people, don't put them on them. These, listen. Man, you out here, listen. i take you somewhere in Atlanta on a Sunday with everybody like that. No, you couldn't sit. Listen, one nothing out there. Everything. Maybe you just walk out in front of the track the trailer. <laughs> It's just bad, man. Dude, listen, they don't listen. The white girl, all, all California had was blonde hair, blue eyed, perked up titties that they went and got puffed up, blowed up booties, and that really blowed up California. California wasn't known for no black women like that. It was a white woman state. That was a player where white folk left the South, came up there and chained the name from Annie Bell Sickler. That to, uh, and yeah, they did. To Madonna. Ain't that right? That's the truth. They all chained it to Marilyn Monroe. They from there, Annie Bell, they from down here in the south. Run down here, 
color they had all this done um um peroxide ran up there and made all that money white for it lost their mind he white boy these niggas they ran up there and got me thought they had some could have stayed right down here in the south we could have kept all these folks took away would have still been say he could been <laughs> he could have did that gong show down right down here and been still in that long. He could have did it downtown though. Not Nelson, who sits it down now. He would have still been man, he fought that mess up. Now, where you grew up at? Yeah, no, no he didn't grow up here. <laughs> where, you, where you were born at? New Orleans? Oh, that's that voodoo. <laughs> yeah, that's that voodoo state. Are you glad you got up here? We saved you. You'd have grown up there. You've been speaking that, speaking to do it. It's all messed up around there, drinking that gator water. Getting high, working them roots. A lot of folk we say, where you born at, um, Granville? Where you born at? Ain't nothing to brag about. We got it, we say it into it. Man, you don't hear that big city life right here in the Atlanta way bigger than Muhammad's, ain't it? <laughs> ain't Atlanta bigger than Bahamas? Atlanta bigger than Bahamas. How many islands y'all got? Seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred. Yeah, we got about seven, eight. <laughs> well, we got like eight something. No, we we got a lot. We got Long Island, <laughs> Thousand Island. <laughs> yeah, we got more than them all day. All day. We got y'all all day. Y'all cut. I, had to, I didn't know that. It's seven hundred islands over there. All the Bahamas. But I didn't know it was seven hundred. Island though, seven hundred. That's serious. I don't know how many y'all didn't know that. Learn something new every day. I didn't know no seven hundred. That's a lot of islands. I didn't even count that thing. You knew that thing. That is serious. Oh yeah, they know about wrong. You just work on a one island, two island, three island. You ain't get no boat. It's like hopping lily pad. You know what I'm saying? You just you ain't no island. You ain't no island. Well, ain't that? They ain't even the size of Kanye. They ain't a little small island. Cause Hawaii got what seven islands? About seven. Big island, the biggest, right? Yeah. See, so they ain't know I knew about that. What you hold on for? What you say, Chris? <laughs> Do y'all have an island called Alaha? Alaha. You think about a latte, man? That's a drink. <laughs> that right there. <laughs> that man said, "Yeah, they got Alaha." Wait, who? <laughs> Aloha, that's how you, that's a greeting, right? right. Yeah, aloha. You from over there? You pick cotton over there, then. They got cotton over there. They, they got cotton Hawaii, you cotton, huh? You know? Peas? No pick. You pick pineapple then. A picker gonna find something to pick. <laughs> that's all right, appreciate it. Well, we all learn something new every day. It's good to be here. All these states are filthy. All of them got that my Georgia, we got our filthy people here too, so I don't wanna we got five. We ain't gonna try to act like we so righteous. We have five unrighteous, riding no good sisters. They're probably from my two, I think two of them got pregnant. Again, they weren't from here, so the kid was born here, so that's how we got five sisters in Georgia. Original sisters. They shouldn't be living much longer, you know what that age thing. Also, y'all know they kicked me on Twitter today. Yeah, they kicked me on Twitter. Day. Well, look, I was trying to figure out to my sign in. That thing came in and said, oh, you have been suspended. <laughs> wow. I like, suspect I was in high school just suspended. For what? <laughs> and so I had an inappropriate text. I said, inappropriate. I went back to read what the tweet was. They said, to get started again, man, start. I'm going to start. It said, delete, delete. That thing was. I put up there about the child molester. When they were saying about how the child molestation, like it really wasn't a bad thing in Europe, I was saying the child molesters ought to be put to death because of the kids. Twitter wanted me down. Y'all know how much stuff I done said on Twitter and let me stay on them? Right. I just posted that. They said, man, they had so many complaints, that content of that stuff. They said, you, you advocating violence for somebody having sex with kids? So they can get rid of them and keep Twitter. I don't want that stuff no more. I done said stuff about some of everything and everybody. You telling me that there was an uproar because I said child molesters ought to be put to death? You can post that in front of the people and y'all stay there and support these people. I didn't support these devil. These say night. Seriously? They say I would advocate violence and harm to others. 
child molester what are they doing to the kids that's why that's why Twitter Facebook all these people are so popular because people with sense people like everybody said we use them for networking the straight people need to get together people that got a real mindset toward liberties of others ought to get together and form our own site that, ain't good. that makes no sense. You can still do business and make money. That's ridiculous. Yeah. You got to compromise with. I got to say, these people shouldn't be you molesting kids. Because that little prince over there in Europe, I thought about him. Was it little uh, Queen Elizabeth or the little faggot his son? Yeah. Hey, man, I don't make no sense. Where the kids' protection at? I can't get. Why nobody ain't protecting the kids? Yeah. How the kids ain't victims? Mm -hmm. well, that's all. Right. What'd you expect? When America KKK, they let the only company put these companies over there support them. It's time for let's use these social network. Let's build our own platform for straight people, just just fair people, <laughs> people just doing it right. You know what I'm saying? We got time for this. They either gotta buy down the sense and buy down the child molester, buy down the racist. Who got time for that stuff? Huh. What happened if people want to be right? What happened to just treat people fair? That's right. Being for what's right. You shouldn't let. How many hoes on the street for five minutes? Prostitutes ain't expensive. You got to go molest a child. You don't even need these women five, ten dollars. You can put them on their back. You got to have sex with a child. I don't even respect you. I can't say respect. That's retarded. Uh, all right, enough of that. We try to talk and move on. Just say.